Well, good morning, everybody. Hope your day's going well. Um, we're getting ready this weekend to transition back to Sunday mornings at 1045 on our stream. And uh, it's another step toward our regathering. And so let me just encourage you to set aside that time on Sunday morning at 1030 as we target June the 14th to, to regather. Um, something you can help us out with is if you would go to the website and RSVP, let us know which of the two services, either nine o'clock or the 1030 service uh, that, that you plan to attend. That way we can kind of plan accordingly. Uh, today I wanna, I wanna read with you for just a few moments out of Psalms 29. Listen to what it says. It says, give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due him to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Psalms 29 talks about what we can give uh, to God. I mean, have you ever considered the only thing that you can give to God? Um, you could give him your life. You say, well, I can give God my life, but he gave his first for you. Um, you can give him his tithe, your tithe, but he gave it to you so that you can in turn give it to him. The only thing that you can really give to God is worship. And really your worship is what he desires. The Bible says, but the hour comes and now is when true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeks such to worship him. You ever thought of reasons why people come to church on Sunday? I mean, what are reasons? Some would say, well, I come for the fellowship. Others say, well, I come to hear uh, a sermon. Uh, in all actuality, the number one reason we come to church should be to worship. And here's the deal. Worship is not about your clothing. It's not about your denomination. It's not about the circumstances in life. And the thing that's important is we shouldn't allow what is wrong with us to stop us from worshiping what is right with God. And so what is worship? Worship is about exalting God for who he is. It's about praising him for what he's done. You know what, I'm about to celebrate 40 years in the ministry here the first week in June. And most of my ministry has been spent making workers out of people. If I had it all to do over again, I'd go back and start over and I would make worshipers out of them instead. Because really, that's what God desires most. Pray with me. Father, thank you today for the fact that we can worship you in spirit and in truth. And it's the one thing we can give to you is our worship. And so I pray today, God, it's some time that we would set aside some time and that individually we would worship. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.